Welcome to my review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 37. The episode is titled, Don't Forget Your Saiyan Pride, Vegeta vs. The Saiyan of Universe 6. For the first time in all of Super, I felt like I was watching Dragon Ball. That was how good this episode was. I loved it. First of all, one of my favorite scenes is when uh, Kabe or Kaba, whatever you want to call him, Kaba. I'll call him Kaba. But Kaba does the Vegeta stand for the science saga that Vegeta took right before he fought Goku. I loved it. That was great. I was also a big fan of the art in this episode, but art was on point in the fluency. I always talk about this. The frame rate and how well everything flows together has not always been the best in Super. There's a lot of shots that are just kind of seem like, like two frames. But this episode, there's this one thing where Vegeta, where Kaze like, you know, like goes on the ground and like does like a spin kick on Vegeta and it just looks so fluid. It is so good. But let's talk about it. So, now, one of the first amazing things in this episode was Beerus and Champa arguing. I could deal with a whole theory just about these two arguing because they are hilarious together. Champa and Beerus argue over whether or not it's hot and cold in the area, and it is great. So, Bottles and Weeks repaired a ring in the stadium and all of that for the fight Vegeta had with Vegeta. And they make the stadium with the ring, they make it bigger. And now the out of bounds rule is still in place, but it's a lot harder to fall out of bounds because the ring is much bigger. They made it bigger because of how big the fights are going to end up being. Now Kaze and Vegeta walk onto the ring, great music playing, really epic. And now they stare off and begin their battle. As I said earlier, the battle itself looks amazing. It is really good in terms of how it looks. But one of my favorite things about it is Vegeta's character. So, during the fight, in the very beginning, he's like, Come at me with your full, pa with your full power. Hurry up and transform into a Super Saiyan. Kabe tells him, I don't know what a Super Saiyan is. So Vegeta gets annoyed and he's like, Please teach me how to transform. Vegeta's like, This is a fight. You can't, I can't teach you. What the hell is wrong with you? He gets very angry. And then he starts beating the crap out of Kabe. So one of the first things he does is he beats the hell out of him. He says, I'm going to kill you. And then I'm going to blow up Planet Salad. And then I'm going to kill your family. And then Kabe goes crazy. He blows the key blast away. And he's like, don't touch Planet Salad. Or my family. And you see this like golden aura around him. There's like a, a little bit of a glint in his eyes, and then he goes super Saiyan, and it looks freaking amazing. But you have to make him look good. When the one thing where he's like putting his arms in the sky, screaming, and he's like when he fully transforms for the first time, the coloring could have been a little bit better. But that's just my own opinion. All the transformations have looked like that, but whatever. But the point is that this looked really good. After a little bit of fighting, Kaba loses the transformation, and Vegeta tells him never to get forget that feeling, because Super Saiyan transformations are triggered by anger, and then it, it hits everybody. Vegeta wasn't going back to his old evil self, or just being a douchebag, no. Vegeta was trying to trick Kaba into transforming into a Super Saiyan by making him angry enough, and it worked. Oh, really good. So after that, Vegeta becomes a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, but this is different. A Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or as I like to call it, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. But something very interesting happens here. Okay, so instead of one shotting him, he said this is Super Saiyan Blue, confirming the name. The instrument in this, in Super anime canon, it is still called Super Saiyan Blue. Now, what I love about this is that after this, he said, with the proper training, you can reach this kind of power. And he knocks him, and he one shot him in Super Saiyan Blue. When Kabe wakes up, you see him and uh, Vegeta hitting with water. Hitting him with water! And, you know, he wakes up, and he starts telling Vegeta, like, I want to be strong like you someday. He's like, no! You will surpass me one day. But don't think I'll let you surpass me. You'll have to work really hard to do that. 
and it's really good stuff. He's like, thank you, and he's like, remember, above all else, you're a scion. Don't forget your scion pride. And he's like, well, what, what is our pride? And the deer respond with, our pride is our strength. Don't you forget that. Champa and Vado discuss that they're onto their last fighter, but eventually Champa comes out and says, it's hit. The legendary assassin of our universe hit. We are fine. If Hit is going to fight, we're okay. There's no need to worry. So Champa pretty much saying he thinks Hit can take out everybody on that team. Which is very impressive that he is that confident with Hit. Now, I do want to talk about a line by uh, Champa about the cube that Votto promised Hit would get if he won the tournament for them. So apparently, the cube isn't just some creation of Votto saying we. No, it is a vehicle of the god that can take the god to other universes. And he was like, why does he get it? And apparently, Champa had told Votto, do whatever it takes to get Hit on this team. So Hit is on the team. Vado said, would you like me to withdraw the assignment? Meaning Hit honestly doesn't give a single shit. He's just there because he wants the cube. They'll give him the cube. But yeah. So in the next episode preview, you see Hit and Vegeta begin their fight. Because right before the episode ends, you see them staring each other down. You see them fighting a bit in the preview. But it's more of Hit just destroying Vegeta. Every punch, then Vegeta stumbling back, and it's pretty clear that Vegeta is going to lose, and then we know what will happen next. Goku and Hit will fight, and I, maybe Monaka won't fight at all. Maybe, maybe we won't get to see his strength just yet. Maybe we'll see it later in the series. Maybe Goku will defeat Hit, and Monaka won't even need to fight. I don't see it. No matter how strong this guy is, none of the other fighters have been that strong. But who knows? But yeah, if I had to rate this episode, I would give it, you know what? You know what? I loved it. I honestly cannot think of something in this episode that I didn't like. I will give it a 10 out of 10. I don't think I've ever given a super episode a 10 out of 10 before. And if I did, it was a long time ago. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Dragon Ball Super episode 37. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. And remember, the podcast will be out this Tuesday. I'm hoping you, I hope you guys are excited for that. Because me and Adam Airport have a lot to talk about with this week's episode.